straight and today I am um, transferring my hair. I don't know if you guys can tell but my hair is kind of fading. It's um, or it was a pastel pink. So this is my hair transformation video from pastel pink to lilac or pastel purple. Um, so yeah, just in case you guys were wondering what my hair was before. So just in case you guys were new what my hair was before, I was using the Sparks um, color in Pink Kiss. I used Happy Tube and I used a speck of the Manic Panic Purple Haze. And today I'm actually going to use the Manic Panic uh, Purple Haze. So yeah, so I used that. I also used the Trust Me uh, Conditioner, which I'm going to be using again today. So before I start this tutorial, I need to first clean my hair. So obviously I use um, hair products today. I use different conditioners and I used um, like hair oils and stuff. So I need to rid all of that, all the I guess impurities out of my hair before I remove the color. So to help remove the I guess impurities, I'm gonna use the Beverly Hills Color Fire shampoo. Basically, is like this like mask type of thing that you use like two or three times out of the week just to remove the buildup of the product. So I'm gonna use this and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I just uh, washed my hair with the Beverly Hills Clarifying shampoo when I brushed it and now I'm going to um, remove my hair color which I've already made a video in the past of me uh, removing my hair color um, doing the vitamin C method which is what I'm going to use today so if you want more in detail of what I'm doing check out that video I'll probably link it in the description box so check the description box okay so I have my mixing bowl and I crushed a 30 tablets of vitamin C also, today I'm going to use the Head & Shoulders Classic Queen uh, Dandruff Shampoo just because I heard that it works better and so I'm going to go ahead and try this one this time. Uh, hopefully it works better. Okay, so I'm going to stick this into a shower cap and I'm just going to leave this on for 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm pretty much an impatient little prick and I decided that while waiting for my hair to work its magic room of the color, I'm going to make my hair dye for you guys. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a white conditioner. I'm just going to use the Tresemme. They come in huge bottles and I think they're like really cheap. So, so you're just going to need enough to cover like your whole head. Enough. Now I'm going to grab the Manic Panic Purple um, Haze hair dye, which I got at Hot Topic, and I'm just going to put a drop. So that's how much I put in, literally a drop. And I'm just going to mix it until it's like the perfect color. So if I feel like it needs more color, then I'll just keep adding more purple. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more conditioner to it, so. Okay, so I added more conditioner. So yeah, this is the color I basically wanna keep on my head, so that's what's in the bowl. Okay, so now I'm making a shower conditioner mixture, which is basically like my everyday um, conditioner with just a little bit of hair dye. Um, so my favorite conditioner is the Brazilian Keratin Conditioner. It just helps me with my frizzy hair because I just have really frizzy hair. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a big mixture into the mason jar. And basically it should be just about the same color or the same amount of... Uh, it should be the same amount as I put in the other mixture. So you have to be careful and make sure you measure it properly or get it about like kind of like eye it out you know so again I only 
this back. Okay, so yeah, I just mixed it all together and it just looks a nice pretty uh, pastel purple. Um, it does look a little bit darker, but then again, the conditioners are different colors, so yeah, that's why. So yeah, but that's my shower mixture. Hey guys, so I just rinsed out my hair from the vitamin C and mixture wrap thing, and this is the result. My hair is so much more blonder. I still have bits and pieces of um, pink, but it's just very, it's very light, and I think it'll do okay. So <laughs> I don't feel like waiting another 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm super impatient, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dye my hair. So always wanna get those roots. Root first. Let's So I basically put all the hair dye in, now I'm just going to put my hair up and put it in the shower cap. <laughs> and now I'm just going to leave it in for one hour. Okay, so I just realized that I forgot to wear gloves during this video. Um, so these are the color track tools, um, wipe off hair color remover. These work on these balls. So yeah, if you ever forget to wear gloves, just go buy these at Sally's and it works amazing. Okay, so... Okay, so this is kind of awkward. My hair legitly did not change color. So I'm going to attempt to dye my hair once more in hopes that my hair will look vibrant and pretty. Because what the heck, my hair looks the same. So I'm gonna put um, a lot more of the purple haze, like I said, in hopes to make my hair more vibrant. Okay, so that's how much I put in. Let's see if there's a difference in my hair. I'm legitly scared now because this is dark. Well, I already lost my clip, so there's that. Okay, so I'm going to leave this in my hair for another hour with my shower gel. Fuck. I forgot to wear gloves again. Oh my gosh. <sighs> See you in an hour. Okay, so now it's like 2 in the morning. And this is the end result. It is a vibrant um, lilac color. Um, I am pretty happy with the results. Um, I originally wanted it to be more pastel, but this vibrant color looks quite nice too. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's going to go to that pastel color in probably four or five washes. Um, so yeah, this is the end of the tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys want me to do more hair dyeing um, videos, I can do that. Okay, so bye.